there is a royal hangover taking place. The royal head is in a state of royal confusion. Jeffrey, you scraggy tart, bring us some wine. Oh, I feel fat today. Is it the tights? No. Bishop Anselm says that the Bishop of Hereford's brother is pregnant by another man. Fact. They say it is the devil's child and he will be dead within the month. Here comes Geoffrey. Well done, Geoffrey. You came all that way in virtually no time at all. Thank you. Well done. Try and get through another day without dying, won't you? Mm. You may wish to congratulate me on my tunic sleeves. As we speak, men up and down the country are clamouring for their own poor imitation. <laughs> they were worth every penny. How much were they? Three shillings. You son of a whore! Spend more. Spend a mark of silver! I want bigger sleeves. I want sleeves so long I trip over them and they require two men to hold them behind me like a train. When they write about me in the history books, I want the sleeves to be a major feature! Do stop making me shout, Ranulph. It hurts my head. Bishop of Hereford worships the devil in the form of a pig that he keeps in the lavatory. Well, I say, if he wants a slice of bacon in the bog, why not? Incidentally, it's not a euphemism. It's a new law that everyone must come out stag hunting today. Wearing scarlet and a fancy dress hat. Anyone caught breaking the law will be forced to run naked round the moat. Have we got a moat? Any sort of water feature? I'll build one by the end of the day or I'll chop off your head. <laughs> Ran off, we should fetch our stallions. We should rub down their strong thighs and straddle them before riding high into the wind. Now that was a euphemism.